Hi, this is Williams, and today we're going to talk about the steps to making your comic. Okay, so you're going to make a comic. Here are the typical steps in the process. First, you'll need an idea, maybe a couple ideas mixed together. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to make a one-page comic about making comics. Meta, right? After you have an idea of what your comic will be about, it's advisable to write an outline. It's a lot faster to describe what is happening in your comic in words than it will take to draw the thing, so you can make changes if need be. Some creators start by drawing after they have an outline. Others, especially creators working in teams, will write out a script describing what is happening on each page and each panel, dialogue, narration, and all that other good stuff that the rest of their team will need in order to move forward. Once you know what you are going to draw, you will need to figure out how you're going to draw the content of your story what kinds of composition, angles, perspectives, and sequence of action. Creating roughs or thumbnails let you try out different compositions and look at the visuals of your story from a macro perspective without getting too attached to a particular drawing. I recommend doing roughs in the same proportion your final comic will end up in, thus the small template. Penciling out your artwork is where your idea will really start to turn into a comic. I usually start by figuring out how my panels and gutters will fit on the page before creating a drawing that is enough information for me to confidently ink without needing too much in the way of reinterpretation or invention as I go. For some artists who are working with a team or handing off their work to somebody else to ink, their pencils will likely be extremely detailed and specific. Here's the amount of information that I felt I needed to move forward on this page. Inking, or final line work, is the part of the process where the artwork starts to feel complete. There are many different tools or combinations of tools and techniques that you may want to use to ink your work. This page is a demo, so I'm using a different collection of techniques and tools on each panel. It's kind of an everything but the kitchen sink approach. It feels a bit overkill, but it is a demo. I will say that many first-time comic artists don't put enough black on the page when they are inking. Focusing mainly on the contour lines of characters and objects is fine, but there are a ton of great techniques like hatch, crosshatch, stipple, wet brush, dry brush, spot blacks, white ink, just to name a few that you can use to add visual interest and texture to your page. Comics is a communication medium, and the way that you apply ink to your page is a big part of what and how you are communicating. Lettering and sound effects are one of the last things added to a comic. I'm using my trusty Ames lettering guide to make parallel horizontal lines and carefully drawing the text in my word balloons. I say drawing instead of writing because this is not what my handwriting looks like. It's not even close. Hand-drawn text should strive for consistency and legibility, but like the inking, is yet another part of your comic that communicates directly with your viewer. Not just the content of the text, but in the way that it is drawn can influence the feel of your whole comic. I've included digital finishes here as a final step, because if you're going to share a comic with more than a few people, it will need to be scanned or photographed and adjusted using something like Photoshop in order to make it something that can be shared in print or online. I'll talk more about digital techniques in another video, but the bare minimum that most artwork needs inside a computer is a levels or threshold adjustment in order to make the white of the paper actually white and the black of the ink black instead of gray. These are your steps one last time. Idea, outline and script, roughs and thumbnails, pencils, inks, lettering, and digital finishes. This video was intended to be an overview of the process. More specifics on techniques, tools, and alternative approaches can be found in other videos. After all that, here's the final iteration of my comic about making comics. Still could use a title and color, but that's for another video. Hope this was helpful. Ciao.